Hola! In this tutorial we want to show you how to make a cutting project with your Okudesk and Inkscape. First, we'll show you how to create any shape on Inkscape and generate the G-code for cutting in the Okudesk. Then, we'll teach you how to import any vector files designed in another software and generate the G-code on Inkscape for later cutting with the Okudesk. We chose this balancing bird for this example. Do you like it? Let's make it! We'll show you the basics of the process with a simple rectangle. Draw the rectangle and place it anywhere in the canvas. You can then insert the measurements you want this shape to have. Let's say we have it, and now we want to cut our rectangle with the Okudesk. To do this, just go to Extensions, Okudesk Laser Nomad Tech, and then Generate Laser Cutting Job. Insert the parameters for the material you will be cutting. For starters, check the reference chart included on the user manual, also available on our website. On this window, we need to insert the number of passes needed to cut the material. If you want to check the reference path, keep this option selected. This will allow you to see the path the laser beam will follow when cutting the material. Click Apply. Name your file and save it wherever you want. This pop-up window will show the details of the G-code you just created. And since we kept this option selected, we can now see a reference of the cutting path the laser beam will follow once you start working on the Okudesk. Okay, now you know the basics. Let's now show you how to import a file you designed in another software to generate a coding project for the Oculus. We want to fabricate this balancing bird. The design is on a PDF format. To import it, go to File, Import, select the file you want to import. In this case, we are working on a PDF but Inkscape allows you to work with over a dozen of vector formats. Click Open. This pop-up window will show up. Just click OK. This particular document has many elements that we don't want to use on the final project, so we need to eliminate them. To do this, go to Object, On Group, to get rid of the elements you don't want, just press Delete or the Backspace on the keyboard. Before generating the G-code, we recommend to make sure every element in the design is on group. Just repeat the process until you see only path down here. To check how many nodes you have on your design, you can click on this icon. In case you want to, this will allow you to modify the shape by dragging the nodes. Now we are ready to generate the G-code. The process is the same as we showed you before. Go to Extensions, Okudesk Laser Nomad Tech, Generate Laser Cutting Job. Insert the parameters for the materials you will be cutting. On this window, we need to insert the number of passes needed to cut the material. If you want to check the reference path, keep this option selected. Click Apply. Name your file and save it wherever you want.
we can now see a reference of the cutting path the laser beam will follow once you start working on the OcuDesk. Ok, now let's go to the OcuDesk. Load your files to the OcuDesk via USB. In the touch screen, select the file. Before placing the object inside the OcuDesk, verify the working area. Then you will notice how the laser beam lights up at the lowest power and will contour the area where you should be placing the material. Click on this icon. If you want, you can also move where you want the laser to start working directly from the touch screen. materials with the laser and finally just hit play This is how it's done. Let us know in the comments what you think. And see you next time. Hasta luego.